Hello everybody, welcome to Yesterday's Tomorrow's. Hello fancy friends, pop on, come and join me. If you see that live button there, if you don't see that live button there, that means you're on the replay. So if you could just put in the comments, hashtag replay in the comments, just so I know you're watching and I can say hello to you. And if you're new to the page, also let me know that you're new. Hello everybody, welcome, welcome. Happy Monday. I hope everybody had a fabulous weekend. I hope you were able to uh, have some fun with your family and friends. Hope you enjoyed your St. Patrick's Day and I uh, was able to have some good corned beef. Hello, everybody. Now, if you're here, come on in and say hello because if you don't say hello, I don't know you're here and I can't welcome you to my page. Hello, Brenda from Kentucky. Yay, everybody. And if you could just do me the biggest favor. Oh, there we go. I didn't even have to ask. Get those hearts going so some of our fancy friends can pop on with us. Hi, Cindy. Hello, happy Monday. Hey, Pam. Hello, you caught me live. I'm so happy about that. Hello, Donna. How are you? Hello. Thank you for sprinkling, Cindy. I so appreciate it. All right. Um, you probably heard me say a dozen times, keep your scraps when you're doing um, transfers, when decoupage papers, anything like that. Put them in a container and periodically go through them and use them. And that's what we're doing today. So we're, first, we're going we're gonna to paint this board. Let me just show you real quick. This is a board I get it from um, Michaels. It comes in a two pack. They're pretty cheap, especially if you can get 20% off or sometimes 40. Hey, Missy. Hello, Sylvia. So it comes with a string like this. So I just cut that off because we're gonna use it this way. Now they come, this is the long one. They do come shorter, but they come two in a pack, but they are pretty cheap, um, especially if you can get a coupon for them. Okay, so that's from Michaels. We're gonna paint that. We're gonna paint this to look like a, um, <clears throat> like the side of a wooden barn almost. So, hello, Melba, how are you? Um, all right, so let me just show you some of my scraps I got now. I don't even know where I got this from, ladies. I have no idea. This is annual. I had this in my scraps. Hey, Sonia, I'm glad you called me too. I'm so happy you're here. Um, I got this, it said catalog, which I thought would be good because we're gonna be using flowers. Then I have this little scrap with the swirlies. I thought that would be cute. Hello, Jane. So keep your scraps. You never know when you're gonna use them. Now, I hope they still work. They should. These have to be older than all, go oh, I don't even know because I don't even know where these even came from. <laughs> hey, Etta, first time commenting. Yes, Etta, thank you so much, everybody. If you're here, don't come on and say hello because uh, to, 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 if you don't say hello or something like that, Facebook doesn't think you're interested in my video and they won't show you in um, in your feed. Hello, Melba. Hello, Deb from Art and Grace. How are you, sweetie? Thanks for coming on today. Um, and guys, if you have a Facebook link, if you have a Facebook business link, put it in so we can all follow each other and you can follow some of my creative friends. Hey, Patty from Wisconsin. So here's some more scraps. Now this scrap is from right here. It's called uh, Redesign with Prima Wondrous Floral 2. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? It comes in three sheets. One, two, three. Now these um, you can get uh, from the link is down below. All paint products. They have it on there. See, Deb, keep your scraps. And they, they're golden, as my friend Mara would say. Scraps are golden. Hey, Kathy. <laughs> Glad to see you from Windy Wisconsin. Who cares? The sun is shining. <laughs> sun is shining here in New Jersey. It's supposed to be up in the 50s. Now, I have my painting clothes on, guys. I, if you can see, I'm going to be doing a lot of painting, so I had to put something on. So uh, this is my painting vest. I did order a, um, a smock. It hasn't come yet, so when it comes, guys, I'll see that. It's got, it's got my new logo on it, so I'm so excited. Thank you, Sonia, for putting your business link in there. Now, guys, I'm going to have to pardon me every so often. I have to need to take a drink of my iced tea i don't know what i don't know if it's allergies or what but my throat is so scratchy um my eyes are even more scratchy <laughs> so um pardon me if i have to keep drinking some iced tea so look at that scrap we're going to be using that today and we are going to be using look at that this scrap aren't they so pretty look at those flowers on there and we have somebody from staten island hello lorraine from staten island how are you you're not too far from new jersey and look at this one. This one's, I love this one. Wait, where are we? Okay. <gasps> look how pretty that's going to look. Look at this one right here. Isn't that going to look so pretty on there? It's going to look gorgeous. This is a really great, I've used this transfer so many times. It's it's great for, um, if you have, because you see the size of the roses. See the roses were 
there's roses in there and different kinds of flowers. There are bigger flowers. So if you have, if you want to make signs where you're going to, you'll be able to see the flowers. This is great for that. Yes, aren't they pretty? And it's snowing in Idaho. Is it really? Oh, goodness. Well, be safe. Hey, Clara, how are you? All right, so let's get rid of this. And let me show you what we're, how we're going to paint our board. Um, this is fun to do. The board is going to be fun. All right, so let me... I'll lose these and we're gonna need these. Okay, so let me show you. We're gonna we're gonna do a bunch of different colors on this board. What transfer is it right here? Wondrous floral number two. They have this right down below. Guys, give me some hearts if there's a link for all paint products down there. All paint products. Uh, open, open they, they carry it in their store under redesign with Prima. All right, so we've got a bunch of colors going on today. Um, let me see. The and these are all from All Paint Products too. We've got a gray. We've got a beige. We've got a green. Of course, my favorite. Um, vintage moss. Um, we've got a blue going on. And the only one that's not from All Paint Products is um, I just I forgot I had this guys and I love this color. It's called Free Spirit. Look how pretty that blue is. And it's from I Love You and I love it. So we're gonna use that today. All right, so let's get started. And we're gonna first paint it with the gray right here. <clears throat> Donna, it's not replay, you got us live here. You are, we are live. All right, so let, let's start painting this, guys. And of course, you know what? Let me get this out of the, let me cut this off. I just wanted to show you how it comes. It comes with this in case you wanted to do it this way, but we're, ours is gonna go this way. So um, I'm just gonna cut that off so it's out of the way. And they come in two packs, guys. They come in two packs. They come in a little bit, uh, I think it's a, a, also a darker wood, if you care to have a darker wood. They come in, um, they might even come in, it comes in white too. Hey, Catherine from Oregon, how are you? Thanks for joining, I appreciate it. And um, thank you so much for coming on today on a Monday. And we have sassafras creations i hope i'm saying your your page correct i am so sorry hello sandy allen all right so let's get going okay now i gotta stand up for this guys all right so i got my handy dandy paintbrush and we're almost gonna do like a dry brush i don't want this to be totally covered if that makes sense hi ann happy monday everybody all right so um there we go you can see and i'm just like just going like this lightly i want some of this wood to still the show through if that makes sense and you want to go both ways like this you want this to look like this is going to look like when it's done like an old board and what does an old board look like it's it looks like some of the paints off of it and all that so that's what i want this to look like you might even if you see what i'm doing i'm just tapping it a little bit i think i put a little bit too much paint on it just to get some of the paint off so we're starting off we're going to paint this whole thing in this gray first Hey, Kathy Richardson, how are you today? Uh, guys, I don't know if it's allergies or what, but holy mackerel today and yesterday, my throat, my eyes. I did a video yesterday. I don't know if you saw it. I did a, I, a pre recorded video, and one of our fancy friends says, Is that Kim talking? I said, Yes, it's me. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's just crazy. I mean, it, we're. Today's the first day of spring, but we don't have any buds on the trees or anything like that. Anything growing yet here in New Jersey. So I don't know what the allergies could be from, but who knows? All right. And then crisscross just like that, too. Don't Chris, what is a dry brush? A dry brush means if the paint, it, you put the paint on and you kind of um, uh, dab it off so it's not thick on your, on your brush. And it, it's it's almost like a dry brush. You there's barely any paint on it. That's what it means. Barely any paint on it. That is what a dry brush is. It's not like when you go and you and you when you dry brush, it's you're not really wanting to cover um, whatever you're putting it on um, totally. Like when you normally paint, you try to cover everything, and but this is not. All right, so and just go back and forth just like this too. Give it a little bit of character so you're not going all the one way all right so there we go can you see now can you see that some of the board is not covered all the way that's what you want hey Lori, how are you oh, all right so there we go so that is our gray <clears throat> all right so now we're going to put a tan and it's a putty color guys it's a putty color actually um no 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 we're not going to put that we're going to put the green first sorry 
we're gonna do the green vintage moss you know it's my favorite hey terry how are you sweetie thanks for coming on today <clears throat> all right let me just give that a stir okay all right so let's get our green going all right so we're gonna do this board right here we're gonna do that in the green and we're gonna do the same thing i don't want it totally covered I, I want to see some of the gray showing through. I want to show some of the wood going through. So I'm kind of dabbing it off. <gasps> you spent last week in New Orleans. Well, <laughs> hope you had a great time. New Orleans is fun. Well, I haven't been there in a while, but last time when me and my husband, oh gosh, many moons ago, uh, he had a business trip near there. So we uh, spent a couple of days in New Orleans and uh, it was fun. But whatever happens in New Orleans stays in New Orleans. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It wasn't Mardi Gras season or anything like that, but the food is fantastic there. Okay, can you, can you see? There we go. Whoa. See, we got the green going. And I'm going to put it, you want it a little bit deeper because we're going to add some colors over this too. <clears throat> there we go. So this is vintage moss. And it's okay, so there's there's one and it's the green. All right. Now remember you can you know you can keep adding colors and taking you know uh adding and you know taking away by adding extra colors to it. All right, so now we are going to use the putty color. Hello, Brenda, how are you? Okay, so this is like a putty color, guys. All right, and then we're gonna put this right here, and I just offload a little bit like that because I don't want full coverage. I'm just adding it just like that and you know back and forth like that and even if some gets on the green that's fine um you want this very very organic looking when this is done i want this to look like it's been in the element there we go thank you for sprinkling brenda i appreciate it And I can, can you guys see good enough or do you need to me to put my the camera down a little bit better? Can you guys see? There we go. Oh, there we go. So now I go this way too. Guys, if you need the camera turned down, just let me know. Would you use the same colors on the dark wood? I'm um, sure, Sandy. I guess you could. Um, I don't know if they would come out as 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 bright. Um, you know, like if you put, um, if you put a green on top of a dark color, it's going to come different than a green on top of a light color, if that makes sense. All right. Now I'm going to also put this, um, on this one too, on the middle right here. Just like that. So you can use it on the dark and I just don't know if the colors will look exactly the same, but that's okay. That's all right. All right. There we go. Now putting this there too because I'm gonna put something over this color. And we go back and forth just like this, just like that. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna use this color, Vintage Flare. Hello, Angela Green, how are you? Thank you guys for the hearts. So this way our fancy friends can come on if they are not getting the notifications, I appreciate it. Okay, so this is Vintage Flare. We're gonna put this one over here. Use a lot of brushes with this. Hey, Teresa, how are you? Okay, so let's get our vintage flare out. And remember, this is one of my favorite brushes, guys. This is a Klingon. Oh, this is my furniture painting brushes. Love them. All right, so now we're gonna put the blue here. Now remember, you're not trying to cover up it, you know, total, total coverage, dry brush. And you go like this and get some on here. That is perfect. Get a little bit of the blue. And you see, whoa, there we go. Look how pretty that's looking, right? Isn't that looking gorgeous? Love it. Okay, so there. And then you look and you're like, oh, I don't know. Maybe I need a little bit more color somewhere else. So let's look. All right, so that 
let's put the blue over here. Now we're going to use, um, okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of the green on this board over here. So let's get our vintage moss out. And you just, you just, you, you, when you're doing it, you, you look at yourself and say, okay, I want a little bit more of this here, a little bit more there. There's no, there's no right way or wrong way to do this, ladies. There's just not, it's just what, what, whatever's looking good to you as you're doing it. Hey, Mary Lou, can you use a choppy brush for it? Um, sure. You know, it's just going to, going to give you all different kinds of effects. Um, the different brushes you use. There we go. Now I just, what I just like to do is I like to go, you know, back and forth and back and forth, just like this. There we go. Just back and forth. And if you can, let me just lift it up and then you can see. Whoa, where we go? There we go. Is that looking pretty? That's looking so pretty. All right, now we're going to use that. You're going to say, oh my gosh, this blue? Oh, but it makes it look really pretty. Wait till I show you guys. Now, I just used the same brush that the other blue was into. Hey, Carolyn, how are you? And we got Laura from Texas. Thanks for joining from Texas. All right, now I'm just dumping. Now, this is Free Spirit. Now I'm going to really want to do a dry brush, so I'm really getting it off. And I'm going everywhere with this. And wait till you see, it gives it a really, really pretty, pretty look, the blue. I hope you can see. There we go. Where it is it? There we go. Can you see where it's green? Ah. My camera doesn't do it justice, ladies. I, um, I, when my son was home, he was going to show me how I can do my camera where I can bend it down, have an extra camera. And um, so you can see, be right on top of my project. But guess what? That never happened. <laughs> Just jumped on from New York. Hello, Jeannie. Hey, Marilyn. How are you, Marilyn? How are you? All right. And so now I'm going to take a, do a little bit of blue here. And I'm going to be going this way. Just like that. There we go. It's looking good so far, ladies. All right. And now to brighten it up a little bit. Now I'm just taking... An antique white and putting the antique white on there. And you can see it's going to make it pop. I need another brush. Hold on, ladies. There we go. Let me just get another chip brush. And we're going to put some white in there. And you just keep going and just keep adding colors as you want. But, I mean, God, isn't that pretty? Look how pretty that looks. It looks gorgeous. Hey, Paula. How are you? Thanks for joining, guys. There we go. And yeah, you can see. Perfect. All right, so this is my favorite Italian ivory, my antique white. Okay, offloading. And now we're going to put some, some white on there. Just go back and forth. Don't go one way. Go both ways. Back and forth. It gives it, um, gives the wood different kinds of looks if you go both ways if that makes sense thank you Cherie did somebody say I have paint on mine this I had this is the paint I had on this is why I wore this today <laughs> because this already had paint on it this is why I wore this is my painting vest guys so no worries this is my painting vest this is why I wore it I knew I would get paint can't seem to find it. Um, guys, is my link, is my link tree right below? It should be, right down below should be a link tree, and not a link tree. Um, a link to all paint products. Is that showing down there, guys? Let me know. Show me hearts if all paint products, um, if the link to all paint products is showing there, guys. Let me know. Because if not, I don't know what happened. So I don't see any hearts. I guess it did. And okay, I will put the link um, on my Facebook page when I'm done. Um, let's, you can get some all paint products. Okay, back and forth, back and forth, just like that. Thanks, Diane. Oh, so there is down there. Okay, so I see some hearts. So is that meaning that it's there? I hope. If not, I'll post it. Guys, you can keep going and going with this until you get it the way you want it. 
There's no rhyme or reason. It's what you like. See, now right there, I think I did a little bit too much right there, so no big deal. Hey, Sue, how are you? <gasps> Thank you for the ornament I got it the other day. I appreciate it. I have to show everybody. Remember, guys, if you want to send an ornament for our Easter tree, Easter slash spring tree, send them in. Just private message me for my um, address, and you'll be in the drawing for, for some free products if you um, send in an ornament. When I'm done, Sue, I will show it. I have it right up. I didn't put it on the tree yet. I wanted to show everybody before I put it on the tree. There we go. Oh, now I think I put a little bit too white, too much white here, but guess what? No big whoops. So let me see what color will I do it in. Um, Let's fill it in with the green. <clears throat> yes, I just got it. Uh, was it yesterday or the day before? I don't know. The days run into each other, right? There we go. See? Guys, look. If you, no big deal. I think put a little bit. There we go. And I think I'm going to add a little bit more green down here. You know, green's my favorite color. Love any shade of green. All right, there we go. So what do you think, guys? Isn't it? Look at that. There we go. Oh, isn't it pretty? It came out really, really pretty. Uh, where's my white? I think I just want to mute this blue a little bit more. I don't want it so, so blue. I do have some blue in the flowers that we're putting on. Um, that's that's in the transfers, so it should it would be fine. All right, there we go. So I think that's it. <gasps> it's come kind out of pretty. Look at that, gorgeous. All right, so there we go. All right, so let's let's just clean up the mess here a little bit. Thank you, Cherie. It's really pretty, and I'll show you guys in a minute. Now I get these little solo cups, guys. They're like four or five ounces, and they're really good when you're doing projects like this and you need a bunch of different paint. This way, if you don't use it up, sometimes I put them on a plate and I don't use it up, it's hard to get it out of the plate. So I put them on these and I get the lids and um, they work really well. You can get them in Walmart, all those stores. All right, so there's all my brushes. I'm gonna clean those later. All right, so this, let me show you what this is what it looks like if it's this way. What? So pretty. Now remember, you can make it any color you want. All right, now let's just dry it a little bit before we start with the transfers. All right. So remember, we're using scraps today. That I always say, save your scraps. Your scraps are golden. Now remember, transfers do not like moisture, so make sure that your paint is dry. Now this won't take a long time to dry because we did a lot of, um, it's mostly dry brushing effect on here. So, but remember, you can use any color you want. You don't have to go with what I used. If you don't like greens, don't use greens. Just use blues, use yellows. Just go, you can go with just browns, all different shades of browns, whatever decor, whatever will match your decor. Thank you, sure. Yeah, this I love my solo, the solo cups. I love to put this stuff in. I was finding that if I put it on the plate, then I pour too much on the plate, and then um, I couldn't get it back into my little, you know, my little um, squeeze things that I get from Walmart. Okay, so solo cups works. All right, so there we go. All right, so it doesn't matter which way is going to be the end. I don't think so. Okay, so there we go. So let me put you... Hold on. Ooh. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Now you can see. Perfect. There we go. All right, so let me get my... Which one am I going to do? Okay, so this is what I'm going to do for... I decided I'm going to do for coming up this side here is going to be this flower right here. So we're going to cut it. And it's good, it has the grid, the grid lines, guys, so, uh, let's see, so I know where to cut. Okay, so now I'm gonna get my scissors and we're just gonna cut it out. And I'm going to, 
just go along the grid just like that. There we go. And that's the part that we're going to put on the bottom. Hello, Tammy from the Stock Exchange. How are you? How is Shannon's eyes on the pies? <gasps> Guys, isn't that a great name for, for a business? It's, a, it's a, like a bakery. And she makes everything she makes is in, in pie form. And it's called Shannon's Eyes on the Pies. <laughs> isn't that a great name for a business? <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the hearts, everybody. All right, so let's put this down first. Hold on, guys. Why throw it? Holy mackerel. I keep Dunkin' Donuts in business with, business with the iced tea. <laughs> they know me there now. One time, I always get two when I go. And then one time I went and they said, you're only getting one? What happened? <gasps> oh, it was amazing. Oh, good, Tammy. Let me get this out of the way. We don't need this thing. It's kind of, it's, um, it's making it go move on me. You bought too large? Oh, my goodness. <gasps> bought too large? They have, guys, it's so funny. They have um, pot pies. They have pulled pork pot, pulled pork pot pies, chicken pot pie, um, macaroni and cheese pot pie. I mean, it's just amazing, this place. All right, so let's put this on here. I, I haven't been there yet. My sister was. She brought me home a couple of things, and uh, I just still, I need to get there. All right, so there we go. So we're going to put that on there just like that. Let's move this and push it down. Let's get our handy dandy little stick there. I'm trying to see where you guys can see the best. There we go. And just rub. Now remember the wood I get from Michaels, guys. They have it um, where, where you find that all the unfinished wood is where you find it. It comes in a two pack and um, it's pretty inexpensive. It doesn't go on sale. Um, so you want to wait till you have a 20% off or sometimes you get the, um, the 50% the off. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Okay. So now this is, there, this is big surface area, so it should come off pretty quickly. It's when you have the very fine detailing of words and stuff like that where it takes a little bit more time so leaves and stems for some reason take the longest or not the longest they just take a little bit more elbow grease hello kathy thanks for coming on and guys thank you for all the um the hearts this way our friends um who are not getting the notifications um, can join us. Now, remember, I do have a Telegram channel that I do every 99% of the time. I do uh, let you guys know when I'm coming on if you belong to my Telegram app. If you don't, um, you can go to my page. It's, it's I have it pinned to the top of my page, and all you have to do is download the app, Telegram app, and you can come on and get on my Telegram page. Hey, Barb, thank you for the hearts, everybody. There we go. See, look how easy that is. There we go. Now, when I'm going, if I see a piece that didn't stick, I just go and I stick it back down. What do you do with all your crafting projects? Um, well, I either, my, my nephew has a booth or my friend right here, Tammy from the Stock Exchange. I bring it to her store and that's what I do. I used to have a booth myself. So when I had a booth, um, I used to sell all the stuff myself. So now I just give it to other people to sell for me. And that's what I do with it all. There we go. Clean as a whistle. That's what we want. There we go. All right, now you want to do fancy word. It's called burnishing. And you want to make sure that it's down there tight. Now, th these have slots in it, guys. Can you see? These have slots in there. So what you want to do is you want to just take your fingers and just push your transfer into the slats, and it'll go right down. If it doesn't, take your little stick and get it in there. There we go. <gasps> Look how cute. Isn't that so pretty? All right. And let's see. We have another piece of transfer right here. And we're going to... Um, let me see. Oh, 
Where is the other piece? Hold on. Let's see what we got. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think. What flowers should I use? I mean, this look at this, how beautiful this transfer is, guys. Isn't it gorgeous? Simply gorgeous. I don't know which one to pick. This is my dilemma always. What should I use? Okay, so let's do the top first, right up here. Okay, and then I'll we'll figure out what we're going to do on the bottom. Now, look, at, look how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love it. Okay, let's see. How did I want to get that? I know I wanted to put this on a certain way. And which was the way I was thinking. Because I love that yellow rose. Isn't that yellow rose so pretty? So I think I was going to... Hmm. Put it from... Let's see. So I just need to know where I need to cut out. Okay. So we have this one on its own right here. So we're going to cut this out. And we can stick this one someplace. Okay. We can put that on. That's, that's all by itself. So we're not going to need that. And let's see. I love that on there. That looks pretty. And... I'm going to, I don't know, should I cut out that or do I put it this way? Yeah, we're going to go this way. Yeah, that's going to look nice. Okay. And how far? Yeah, that looks perfect. All right, so now we're going to cut this just like this. This is what I like that they have the grids. This way you can pretty much get an even cut. There we go. Save your scraps. You never know what you're going to need them for. Just like what we're doing today. Look how pretty that looks. All right, so let's take that. And we're going to put this on. And remember, guys, once you take the backing off, be careful. Because um, if you take your finger and stick it to this, um, you're going to get transfer on your finger and um, ruin your transfer. Okay. Now, when you're putting it on wood and stuff like that, it gives you a little bit of a leeway. Um, it, but if you were sticking this on glass, it would not. It would stick like a magnet on glass. Glass and um, glass and galvanized, galvanized items. It sticks like there's no tomorrow. Okay, there we go. Put that on there. There's my stick. There we go. And let's get this going. And then we got some words to put on. So, so before I put any more transfers, I think I'm going to put some words on there. And then we'll see where we might need another transfer. Hey, Julie. Hello, Sharon. Thanks for coming on. And guys, if this is your first time here, please let us know it's your first time here. So we can welcome you to um, yesterday's tomorrow's. I would appreciate it. And remember, if you don't say hello, I can't say hello back. <laughs> so say hello. Well, Deborah, I appreciate your kind words. Thank you, ladies. Okay. There we go. And the more you comment, the more Facebook will think this is a great video and will push it out there for me. So I would so appreciate it. Even if you don't want to make a comment, just give an emoji. Give me a heart in the comments or a thumbs up in the comments. Doesn't matter what it is. Facebook just likes anything in the comments. And they will get my video out even more. There we go. All right. Oh, look out. Okay. So this is why you don't want to rip it off like a band-aid. You gotta go slow. There we go. I haven't used this transfer in such a long time. I love it. It's so pretty. I miss using it. I haven't done a transfer in a long time. I've been doing a lot of um, decoupaging, guys. <gasps> Thank you. That's going to look good with the, on this wood, guys. It looks so pretty. See, there's a little piece that didn't stick. I just put, my, put it right down, right back down again. So make sure when you're lifting it off, you're looking to see if any if it needs to be stuck back down again. Yep, there we go. We needed a little bit of rose right there that didn't stick. Let's push this right back down. Oh, there's another part of the rose that didn't stick. Let's put it right back down. Oh, another piece that didn't stick. Put it down. <laughs> and Terry, first time watching. Thank you, Terry, for letting us know. Welcome to my page. 
or welcome to our page. Everybody, welcome Terry. Terry, we would love for you to come back. Please uh, make sure you follow my page and press the follow button and uh, come on back and become a fancy friend. First time you're here, you're a newbie. Second time you come back, you're a fancy friend. There we go. Okay, so it's clean. So you know it's, it's on there good. And then because this has slats in it, I just take my finger and go like that. That's all. And just just like that, and it'll go right into the creases. All right, now you just take your fingers and the big fancy word, burnishing. There we go. Oh, guys. Isn't it cute? Now it does need, okay, so now we have some words, okay? Now it's gonna, I'm gonna put a flower over here. It definitely needs a flower here. Now we have, I don't know, it might even be too long. Oh no, that looks good. This is ca his catalog. Hold on, we have annual first. Let's see. Guys, can you see? No, hold on. No, no, you cannot see. Let's put you there. Okay, so we got catalog. This is annual. Now these are scraps, guys. These are scraps that I've had from, a, I don't even know which, if you ask me which transfer this is from, guys, I couldn't even tell you. It's an old, it's an oldie but a goodie. And I just don't know where I got it from. There we go. Um, so that'll look pretty. Um, I think that's gonna look good there, maybe. And we need a flower over here. So let's get this annual down first. Yeah, let's just get that down. And I'm hoping these still stick, because like I said, they're old. They're from my furniture painting days. I wanna make sure that the letters, you could see them, they don't go into the cracks and crevices of you know, if you get what I'm talking about. But it doesn't matter. You're not not don't have to have to see them. There we go. All right, let's put that down and let's get annual. Yeah, I don't know where this transfer came from or like what brand it is. It might be um, a redesign with Prima, but like a really old. Or it might be um, what did I used to use too? I used to redesign with Prima. This is it's not IOD. Well, maybe it is an IOD. I'm not sure which one it is. I forget. Or it might be Hocus Pocus. Guys, do you remember Hocus Pocus? I don't know if they still make them anymore, Hocus Pocus transfers. Um, I used to use Hocus Pocus too. Well, thank you, Barbara. <gasps> I appreciate it. There we go. So I'm just giving you guys some ideas. Now remember, they have the boards like this. That it, this, this is the largest size they have. It comes in another, it comes in a smaller size. So if you wanted to make a sign not so large, um, they have them. But like I said, they come in a two pack in Michael's in, in the woods, in the section where it's all just the, the unfinished wood in Michael's. So there we go. Oh, it looks pretty with that word in. There we go. <gasps> Annual. Well, let's get the catalog on there. Just like that. So I'm glad, uh, I know they, you know, transfers don't go bad. Hello, Patsy, how are you? They don't go bad, isn't that good? That's great to know. Annual catalog, that works. There we go, let's get this on there. And then um, I just need a flower over here, the little swirly thing here, I think we're gonna be good. And then I will go and seal this, guys. Transfers need to be sealed. Um, my sealer of choice is also by Paint, um, Paint Couture. And I'm loving the Extreme Top Coat. The Extreme Top Coat is um, water resistant, guys. It's not water, you know, you can't pour water over it and let it sit there and think it's waterproof. It's water resistant, but it, it, then when they made that product, it was for kitchen cabinets. So if you can know from there how durable that it is. And do I have it here? Oh, here we go. Let me just show you real quick. This is what I'm gonna be using. Extreme Guard Top Coat. Now this is flat, it comes in another, comes in other finishes. That's also from paint, um, old paint products. So if you're gonna look for this, um, transfer you can find that right in the same place so the old transfer works and guys these transfers were in my basement 
from when I was doing my lives out of my basement um, back in the day. <gasps> it's only been about a year since I've been up here in my new work. Oh, you do, Wendy, from 30 years ago and they still work good? It's good to know. It's good to know. I had no, I didn't know. I'm like, okay, if it doesn't work, then we'll figure something out. But I didn't want to try them and waste it when I wanted to put it on here. So it works. So keep your scraps. Scraps are golden, as my friend Mara for Vintage Retail Therapy says. Okay. Okay, the same thing with your finger. Just get into the... There you go. Annual catalog. How stinking cute is that? Okay, and then let's... Um, let's see. Let me put that down here. Let's just get a... We, can, we need a flower right here. How about the rose? Oh, perfect. We got the rose. We're going to put the rose right there. That's going to be amazing. Now we just need to cut it out. We need to cut it out. There we go. Now this one is going to be a little tricky because I got to cut it out from a lot of things that are all around it. But I can do it. I just want the rose coming out. I don't want everything else that's around it on there. So let's, what do you call it? A fussy cut? Just like a fussy cut when you're doing decoupage paper. This is sort of like with that. There we go. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. And I was going to do some stamping on it too, but I don't think so. I think, you know, um, I think this is going to be totally fine. And I might want to do a leaf on there. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe that leaf. There we go. So we cut, the, cut it off. We'll put that there. And, but I think I need a big, that little leaf is not working for me. So we got a leaf right there. Let's put this leaf on there. Okay. Oops, I don't want to ruin that. I think I want to keep that. And so what you want to do, when you're putting a leaf down, you want to put the leaf down first, if that makes sense. Now it's got this little leaf hanging off the edge of it. I don't want that. Um, because you want the leaf to look like it's coming out of the rose, if that makes sense. All right, so I'm going to put that there. I just want to make sure where my, I want my leaf to be coming out of. And that's going to look great. Okay, so let's take this off and we'll put the leaf right here. <clears throat> and, and it's going to go right there. Perfectly imperfect. All right, so... There we go. Where did I put my tool? Now, when you get your when you get your transfers, they come with this little tool. If you lose you lose it, no big deal. Um, I've used back of spoons, <laughs> credit cards, whatever it takes to to get it to uh, adhere. Just use it. But I have used the back of a spatula when I was in my kitchen wanting to do a transfer real quick, and I didn't want to go get my transfer tool. All right, so let me go. So let's get that off. There we go. And get your finger. Now let's put the rose down there. Can you seal them so they don't chip or peel? Yes, Karen, that's what I was just talking about. I'm gonna seal it with this. Paint Couture Extreme Top Coat. I will do probably at least um, two thin coats. I like When I do my top coats, I like to do them, do thin coats, not thick coats, and I like to do multiple coats. So um, that's what I will, uh, that's, that's the top coat that I will be using. Okay, let me just stand up, guys. And make sure that that's where I want it. And there we go. All right, so let's put that down. And see what I mean? Now the, row, now the leaf looks like it's coming out of the rose from there, just like that. Okay, so I'll put this on. And then I just have this little thing right here, and I think I just might put this right down here on the bottom. And I think we're going to, them. I think that might be it, but I don't know. Let's see. You guys help me out. You say, Kim, that looks good. Or maybe you should add a little something else. There we go. Okay. You know what? When you have it, when you cut it out like that, you might want to just take a little piece of plastic like this, just so you don't ruin your, um, 
you know, if you painted this like a really, you know, <laughs> really well where you don't want it to chip off, you just put this, just put this down and go like that, if, if that makes sense. There we go. So I don't want to hit the leaf part and get the leaf off. So to get that down, I'm just taking the plastic and putting it on there. Just a little, just a little tip. Okay. And there we go. Oh. There we go. Whoop. Make sure. There we go. And then if you see a part that's not sticking, just put it back down again. There we go. And just put your finger. And now you, you got to make sure when you before you top coat it, you seal it. Make sure you get every edge down because one of the big things about transverse lifting is because you didn't get all the edges down and the top top coat seeped underneath and not right away but slowly but surely your transfer will start to peel off there we go look how pretty now i just want to take i just love this and i've got to put it somewhere ladies so um i'm just trying to think maybe okay i can take the white off so it'll, you can see what it could still look like i think maybe this right here, or yes, right on the bottom, right on the bottom. Thank you, Deborah. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna put it right on the bottom right here. And that's gonna look pretty. There we go. So these guys, this is all scraps and you don't have to use this, the same transfer. Um, you know, this is two different transfers from two different places, so. You have a bunch of transfers. Maybe you can use all different ones. It doesn't have to be the same from from each one. There we go. <clears throat> on the bottom. Then uh, that's what I thought. On the bottom. I agree. And I don't know. It might be a little something here. I don't know. <laughs> you know, this big. I'm not going to seal it right away, guys. I'm going to be honest with you because um, it, these my projects speak to me. I don't know if yours does, but mine does. And it, I'm going to keep looking at it. And I'm like, well, I need a little something here. I might need a little something there. So um, I don't know. So I'm not going to seal it right away. I'm going to wait. Where did you get the transfers, Liz? This is the transfer right here. Wondrous Floral Redesigned with Prima. You get it from all paint products. Um, my link should be down below. Somebody said it's not. But I can, it's in my link tree, all paint products, which you can find my link tree on my Facebook page. If not, I will post, um, I will post it when I get off of here, but all paint products. Oh, make sure you, you I almost forgot. If you're going to order, use my code YES10, 10% off your order. And these are on sale. I made sure I went and looked that they had them before I came on to let you guys know about them. And they're on sale. So go uh, go there and then make sure you use my code YES10 and you will also get 10% off your entire order. So good thing I said that. I almost forgot to tell you ladies that. And they are on sale. How cool is that? I just, go, I just went on just to make sure that they had them. And they did. I, back in the day, guys, I used to do, a, when I was in my furniture painting business... I used to have a day, it's called Transfer Tuesday. Does anybody, anybody on here long enough that you remember Transfer Tuesdays? And every Tuesday, we did transfers, hence the name. Anybody on here long enough that remember? Terry, if you're still on here, I know you remember. But we used to have a day, and it used to be called Transfer Tuesdays. And we used to do transfers every Tuesday. There we go. Okay, so now we're rubbing that in. And especially ones like this. You want to make sure that it is down. There we go. Mm, look how pretty that came out. Yep. When do you remember Transfer Tuesdays? It's, it's a long time ago. Patty says she remembers. Thank you, Penny. Oh, Terry. Yes, see, Terry, I knew you would remember Transfer Tuesday. Yes, Transfer Tuesdays, right? I don't know. Maybe we'll have to do that again. Transfer Tuesdays, Foodie Fridays. <laughs> but it came out cute, right? It's so pretty. I don't know. I just think it needs a little something maybe right here. 
but it's got to speak to me. So anyway, um, this is the transfer that I used. All paint products. My code is yes ten. Um, all the all the colors that I used on here are for, from all paint products. Also, Jane, you remember Transfer Tuesday? Oh my gosh, you guys are here from you were with me from way back when, way back when. Show place again. This is what you're asking right here. Wondrous Florals 2. Rose, you think you, I was doing that when you first watched me? Probably, Rose, probably. You've got your work on it. I know, Terry, no rest, no rest for the weary. But I love it. I just love it. I am blessed to be able to have this platform and to be here every day with all you ladies making beautiful projects. Oh, sure. Oh, my gosh. You can decoupage and put transfers on metal buckets. Just remember, glass and galvanized buckets, metal buckets, transfers stick like a magnet to them. All you need to do is lightly get it on there, and it's going to stick on you. Not like here on wood where you have a little bit of give a leeway if you want to kind of see where it's going to, where you're going to place it. It sticks so, I mean, be careful. Once you put it down, it is... It is on there for good on glass, mirrors, uh, galvanized buckets. So just, just an FYI. So, all right, there we go. Thanks, Sissa. I appreciate it. So anyway, if you're interested in this transfer, again, remember all paint products. Um, somebody, guys, real quick, um, let me know in the comments, yes or no. Is my link down there below for all paint products? I wanted it to be, and um, I don't know why sometimes... It's fussy and it doesn't uh, show up for me. Hey, Sissa, thanks so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. But you can use any scraps of any transfers you have. It doesn't, um, you can use any paint colors, anything like that. Thanks, Liz. I appreciate it. Jane says no. Okay, guys, it's not. All right, no, Janice says no. All right, I will put the link. I will go, well, as soon as I get off of here, I will put it on my business page. But if you can't wait for me to do that, Go on my business page. You'll see in the intro, you'll see a, a link tree. In my link tree um, is All Paint Products. And it's uh, and you can find these on All Paint Products. You don't see the link. Oh, I don't know why it didn't work today. Thank you, Janet. Thank you, Carol. All right, everybody. If we can please um, keep some of our fancy friends in our prayers, I would so, so appreciate it. Um, and we have our friend Terry on here. Terry on here, her granddaughter, um, needs our continued prayers, so please keep her granddaughter in your prayers. We have Nora um, from um, oh, what's her, um, the Blessed Dragon. Um, she's having surgery in a couple of days. Please keep her in your prayers. Mary from Ocean Breeze and Me, her husband's recovering from surgery. Please keep her in your prayers. And I keep forgetting, please, um, um, Sh Shana from... Um, Frame it and contain it. Her husband's recuperating from open heart surgery. Um, so please keep um, him in your prayers. I saw him. He's walking. He was walking today, so he's doing good. So, yes, it's under the three dots. Okay, good. Thank you. So, and if, guys, if you would like some, have a prayer, if me let anybody know if you need a prayer sent, please just um, private message me, and um, I will let, every, let you know all you guys know. And if I'm missing anybody, God knows who needs them, okay? So, um, please keep everybody, keep all of us and all your pr um, fancy friends in your prayers. What do I seal it with? This is what I, this is my sealer of choice. Pink Couture Extreme Guard Top Coat. It is water resistant, UVA protected, which UVA means it will not yellow in time. How how this how you this is? It will stay like this forever. If you use the if you use ones that do not have the UV protectant in it, it will start to yellow over time. Oh, I love you guys too, guys. I do. I love you all. Um, so this is mine of choice, um, and it, like I said, it's water resistant. Mm -hmm. And you do protectant. And I do two thin coats, sometimes three. And um, it seals it really, really well. All right, ladies. Thank you so much for joining me. God bless you all. God bless you all. Thank you for joining me on this Monday. And I will be back tomorrow. Um, I don't know what time. I might even be doing a field trip tomorrow. Let me see how it all goes. Thank you, everybody. And have blessings and have a blessed, blessed rest of your day. And I love you all. All right, everybody.